Welcome back you guys and today we are going to learn how to make your first chess video using the OBS. So to start with OBS Studios, you got to know what is scenes, what is source, what is audio mixer and some settings which is required. So to give you an overview what it will actually look like, this would something look like this and when you open your application of OBS, in the bottom left there will be scenes and after that you can see source after that you can see the audio mixer and after that you can see the control although you can shift it like this you can keep it wherever you want but initially it would be by default set like this do not move it because it looks beautiful right so now what is the purpose of this scene is suppose i am clicking on this bobby fisher first game so i have created this template and i don't have to again and again change this i just have to ch uh, change the title and just go for the video right so uh, suppose if I am going to click again then on some random videos, you can see Magnus Carlsen images ready over here, Kukesh Domaraju images ready over here if they both play some match and I just add to, I have to add this title and just go for the video and that is the purpose of the scene that is to save your time to create and template what you want to show to your audience. Second is the source tab, here is where you can beautify your scenes. So something like uh, suppose in this scene of random videos, you can see this text Magnus Carlsen over here. You can see this image over here. So all this thing you can add through here. Now click on this plus. See, you can see the image over here. You can see the image slideshow over here. You can see the text over here. You can see video capture device over here where you can add your camera. You can see the window capture device, which we are going to see that how you are going to bring your chessboard on the screen and then after that here is an audio mixer where it is going to show what kind of audios you are going to listen and what you are going to make show to your audience so the first is desktop audio for me right now over here which has not been currently used because you, you can see it is not moving right and the second audio which i am using is coming from my microphone which i am speaking in right now and you can just see that it is visible right it is working or not and the third and the, and the last part here is the settings over here if i click on the settings you can see there are multiples multiple options over here but the only required thing for you is the output the audio and the video and we are going to look all into this in detail and just this is an overview so as now we have seen what the screen is going to look like we are really going to go into the settings and as you can see if i click on here and if I click in the settings section, you are going to see this tab. And for us, the three important tabs are output, the audio and the video. So let's go into the video, the simplest tab. Keep your resolution as you want. Now here my resolution is 16 by 9, which is generally supported for YouTube uh, in a long form video. And if you want to make shorts or reel, you can again change this aspect ratio as you want. Keep your FPS as you want 30 frame per second or 60 frame per second. It is your choice. And now coming to the audio section over here. Uh, do not try to confuse yourself key what should be my sample rate what should be my channel what should be this decay rate what should be just keep it as simple as possible keep it as default as possible just the most important thing over here is when you open your obs for first time in the desktop audio keep the speaker or speaker i mean headphones whatever you are using a microphone or a headphone through which you want to get your voice you have to add that in over here for now, you can see my desktop audio has been recorded by my headphones, that is Razer headphones, and that's why you can see Realtek high definition audio. And here you can see for my mic auxiliary audio, there is a microphone named HyperX Diocast, which I am using currently. And this is what is recording my voice, which you are listening right now. And look at this, rest of the things are disabled. Just uh, keep all the things disabled because you are going to listen multiple voice if you keep multiple things active right and the decay rate should be fast you cannot going into too much detail I'm just going to tell you something that if you are speaking right now and suddenly you stop so it's going to fastly you know convert your audio like okay there is not going to be like suppose if it's, it is slow it is going to be like i'm speaking right now and uh, slow it is not going to be happening like that so for that you should keep it fast and the true pick is generally very useful because if suppose you are recording a video your audio will not be that loud if you are not using a microphone which is not uh, as costly as my microphone if you are using something like a uh, five to six six thousand microphones then it might be resulting into a lower voice if you keep this true pick it is slightly going to increase your audio uh, audio what we say audio gain and your audio will be more louder that is what is the purpose of this and again in output section 
uh, don't dwell into all this keep this as default as possible this is just default value i have not changed anything in recording tabs remember this recording path you should set a path where you want to save your video that is getting generated and the rest of the thing is as simple and as default as possible in audio there is nothing so this is the three basic settings that we are going we have looked into and this is what you just need do not over you know what we say we try to over learn thing and then just try to get confused ourselves and then we just get bored that i don't want to do this thing right just keep it as default as possible just try some things and when you fail then look into the youtube and then go for the other settings just try to be as default and as understandable as possible for yourself so now that we have gone into the settings we are going to go for the audio mixer and the scenes over here which is very very simple so as you as you can see in the settings uh when i click on in the settings as you can see the tablet is open over here and in audio you have set the desktop audio to this and microphone to this so after you set this and okay and apply it your tab will have these two options of audio here you can either mute it from here because currently my headphone is connected but it is muted from outside so it is not even going to sound over here but my microphone is not muted and that is why you can see it moving and it is recording my voice this too will be open and if you right click over here and suppose you have a problem that after recording you're seeing like there are multiple voices coming then sometimes it happens that you have added a voice uh, i mean you have or added an audio and it is hidden so you can unhide all and you can see if there is anything else if there is nothing you know that it is perfect and if there is something you can just delete it so that is what is happening for you and this is the only thing you you should know about audio mixer and also yeah there is something called as filter now what is filter is there are multiple things it's just like a female who is trying to increase their beauty and this is what the filters are it is like noise suppression so suppose you want to remove that a background hissing noise that is coming from your fan or anything else so in that case noise suppression is used uh, there are multiple options here but generally rn noise is a very good option to be selected noise gate is in one more option that uh, till what volume what decibel you should uh, record your audio until when it will start opening just like suppose i am speaking too softly so what at what decibel of softness should your audio be start recording until how loud till your audio audio should be recording and then there is a tablet of gain over here so and remember this is not uh, this is not going to be available for you you have to click plus over here and then add this and also there is important thing that it should be in this order many youtubers have different order as per their microphones as per their sound as per their own testing they have done by themselves so it is all part of the testing and how and how do you set this for your audio your own voice because your own voice is your beauty right it's not our beauty for us this is supporting to me for you it might be something else but general in general sense this value will be changed but this pattern would not be changed so after gain there is expander like how much you want to expand your voice three band equalizer it's generally like if you want to make something like podcast then you want to make your sound heavy you can um, vary these things and just test over here compressor is like if you are you want to talk loudly or suppose you are the person who talks loudly then you have to compress your audio a little bit that is what compressor does limiter just set a limit that uh, the voice should not go below this uh, above this and this is the threshold limit what they say your voice is never going to go above this and then there are some plugins which it is not mandatory for but just for to beautify your audio so that is what you need for your audio mixer over here and now the most important thing we are going to learn is how to create a scene over here so how to create a scene is first of all in this bottom left corner as you can see you can add and after click on this add you get a name for your scene just add something like template for youtube okay so template for youtube i am naming it for now okay so template for youtube is what i have named here click on okay and as you can see there is a blank screen over here right now so i am going to just turn it uh, change it and as you can see in the bottom here template for youtube has been added and if i click over here because i have done nothing over here you will see the blank screen so this will not be so beautiful for you so this is how you create a scene and now what i am going to do is i am going to edit on this only so you can see how to add image and how to add whatever the windows you are recording right so now we are coming to the important part which is how to create a scene 
which has a sources right which would look something like this which has an image which has a chessboard which has an some crazy title over here so that is what you really need right so what we are going to do is first of all learn how to add a video capturing device that is camera so we what we are going to do is click on this right button over here the plus button over here and after clicking on this plus button you can see there is an option for video capturing device when you click on video capturing device you can see in screen something like this name it like camera because right now you have only one camera but suppose you are a big youtuber you have three or four cameras you have to rename like this is a side view this is front view whatever it is so we click on here and as you can see there is an option that okay i might look a little bit ugly over here because this is kind of inverted what akshay kumar says so we are going to click okay and most probably it is going to show you your original uh what we say uh i'm going to delete it again and show you again how to do it let's click plus let's click video capture device and okay uh, usually it's going to show you your laptop camera but if you get a drop down and if you have any what we say webcam and all it will go into the option if it is connected to your device and yeah we are going to click okay so first of all if you see very crazy looking if i raise my right hand it is showing that i am raising my left hand so it is kind of inverted right so what we are going to do to resolve this issue is first we are going to right click on this whatever it is and you really know that it is selected by this red square over here you can see this red dots it shows that it is selected and by right clicking on this video we are going to go for transform settings over here and after here we are going to click flip horizontal and now you can see that i might look very natural if i am moving my right hand it is moving my right hand so this is how you bring your video or your video capturing device and now what you are going to do is how to crop this because you don't want to see this eh? why are you seeing this part of my video right you just want to see this face you just want to show this face and what we are going to do is first click on alt button and then drag this and this is how you crop it you can crop it from here too and if suppose you have cropped it already and you want to see that okay show me this what is what was here i want to see that so again click on alt and it is going to come over here so that's how you crop either your video either your image whatever it is or even a display Right. so what we are going to do is this is how video is captured i'm going to keep this over here so you can always see my beautiful face and then second thing is we want to learn how to add an image so now click on e e image over here now click on plus click on image as simple as that you can name your image always suppose we give a name over here the magnus we are going to add magnus over here because i have a lot of image of magnus so click on browse and then go to wherever you have the image of it and after that we're going to select this magnus over here and look at this it came over here again we can uh, move it anywhere we want first of all you don't want this extra part of the image so click on alt click drag this and you got this image you can always have this image you can keep wherever you want either here you can just keep it on my face wherever you want currently we are going to keep him over here and now the second most important thing is titles and the text how can i, I how can i add it click on plus click on this text uh, maybe name something like this it's an heading so h e a d i n g heading click on okay over here and now type it something like welcome to my first video welcome to my first video definitely this is not my first video but for you it will be your first video so you have to do something like this right welcome to my first video and you can just keep it as large as possible did i just misspell this okay now the thing is if i misspelled this i have to correct it right and if you see i am clicking here but it is not giving me allowing me to edit so what you are going to do is okay first of all deselect it you can select it again right click on it and then go to properties and now you can see you can edit it again v i d e o as you can see you can see the video now i have corrected my spelling and you can edit it again so you can keep it wherever you want you can keep it over here but currently you can see there are multiple like layers so it is not going to be looking good for you so okay what i'm going to do is make it short and move it somewhere okay see this is it has got inverted right now so what can i do with something like this maybe so, so let's first delete this and because it is still taking a lot of space over here uh, what we can do is you understand how to add a uh, text over here so now what we are going to add is suppose uh, we want to create some kind of chessboard on the screen right we want to the main thing is we have to add multiple screens over here so what i am going to do is click on the 
window capturing device there are two type of capturing device that is display capture and a window capture and as you can see what i have i'm doing here for like showing you that what my window is looking like i am using this display capture it is very confusing but i am using the display capture because i want to show you what is in front of me what is in front of my display right but if you want to capture a particular scene of particular window like in chrome you have opened leeches or in chrome you have opened uh, chess.com so we what i have currently done is open in my opera browser a leeches okay so i'm going to click plus over here i'm going to go for window capture i'm going to click okay <coughs> okay pardon me i am not feeling well so after this you can see if i drop down there is an extension that whichever whatever you have windows you have opened currently i want this one i don't want this one windows to show you what kind of image i have okay so we are going to go for opera and as you can see it is visible right now a very fairly visible but you don't want this whole thing right you just want your chessboard so just click on alt and what how we did for image or video capturing device similarly we are going to crop from all these sides and this is how you add the chessboard over here right and you can keep it wherever you want suppose for most probably people would put something like this and they will keep uh, your uh, this thing over here they might add a uh, image of magnus carlson over here so now <laughs> so look suppose magnus carlson image has went beyond the board so what can you do right you can just click magnus okay first of all to drag this magnus above these there are two options you can click here and you can click plus you can see magnus came up and if you uh, go behind magnus is going to go behind and that's how you can set priorities that what should come for, uh, first and what should come uh, then afterwards so here suppose you can do something like set magnus over here give a name to this okay so we are going to add text so casing that it's magnus carlson and it's not me so yeah magnus we are going to say magnus and we are going to add magnus over here so people know that this is magnus carlson right so this is kind of thing which we have created okay you can set background initially so what you can do to set background is just click on plus i click on image and let's click okay and let's browse some image and what if i am browsing you cannot see right now because there might be this chess board in front of you right so let's i'm selecting one image which i have done already so this is what my image would look like and suppose if i am doing this okay I'm doing this <clears throat> let me first hide this chessboard okay i'm going to show you how to hide it but suppose this is my image right now as you can see this is my image what i'm going to set is priority of this image to be the most last and i how am i going to do that i'm going to take this and move this at the bottom of the all images so above the display so i can see this and now just going to increase its length and as you can see this is this has came in front of you and now the first second most foremost thing i need to tell you how did i hide it so as you can see i know that this was window capturing this i just click on this eye and you can see now it is visible okay so what i am going to do is just unhide and hide it but before that i am going to set this background so i can set this and now i am going to unhide this and you can see my background is set my magnus carlson is set i am set and just have to give a title which i can just add text and just put it over here and that is how we start our chess video right I hope you just start this chess video currently right now and listen to me if you are chasing you are starting a new chess video please contact me because see you will be like uh, for starting new youtube everyone is going to be scared like who is going to watch my content how it is going to reflect i too am scared but we are going to be the new face we are going to develop chess as it was never before we are going to be the new faces of chess we are going to make chess more interesting to the people and we can collab together just uh, comment down below or just um mail me in the link i am mail me in the mail which i am mentioning in the description and we might collab together we might do some fun activities we might play chess 960 or do some chess variants and let's just enjoy and keep chess more enjoyable and more fun so let's contact me and just tell me how did you like this video was this video helpful till then subscribe and wait for the next video which is particularly going to be a real chess video until then i hope you make your first chess video as best as you can